السلام عليكم we will discuss uh, wrist pain uh, but we'll go uh, rapidly uh, to cover all the causes we'll start by under side wrist pain under side wrist pain could be either uh, from uh, bony origin uh, like uh, the lunate the, tri the triquitrum uh, the busy form the hamate the DRUG joint the CMC any pathology in this uh, bony side can lead to uh, uh, under side wrist pain also soft tissue problem in the TFCC in the lunotriquitral ligament and the mid-carbal uh, ligament to a mid-carbal instability uh, on the dorsal side outside the joint. There is uh, ECU tendon, uh, dorsal branch for ulnar nerve and the volar side, there is the FCU tendon and the gyn canal and the ulnar nerve. So the causes will be either ECU uh, problem, DREOJ, arthritis, inflammation, TFCC, tear, ulnar styloid fracture, unit and triquitrum pathology, came book cysts, Unitriquitral instability, mid-carbal instability, capitate and the hamate, uh, pathology like avascular necrosis, cysts, tumors, carbometacarbal uh, arthritis. On the voter side, also there is FCU tendinitis, gun canal uh, compression and uh, ulnar entrapment, ulnar head subluxation, dislocation, TFCC, volar tear, busy form subluxation. Patient will present by ulnar side wrist pain. We should go formal uh, uh, examination in the form of an inspection, compare always to the uh, other side to see any abnormality. You should palpate and test uh, each side of the joint, starting from the least tubercle, distal to it is a scaphoid proximal bowl, then go uh, ulnarly into the lunit, lunit triquitrum, triquitrum, uh, the ECU tendon, the DRUG, volarly, the FCU. Between the ECU and FCU is the, uh, the site of the fovea, which is site of attachment which is site of uh, TFCC. And according to suspected uh, pathology, according to tenderness, we will go for a special maneuver to confirm a diagnosis in the TFCC, the fovea test, and the honor compression test by doing uh, axial load and honor compression will cause clicks and, and pain, the, the piano key test and the uh, pollutment to see if there is instability between the radius and the honor and the should, should always compare to the contralateral side, instability indicates a deep TFCC uh, tear, uh, the new triquitral pollutment, piece triquitral grain test, uh, mid carbal uh, shift test in which we do ulnar division pronation axial loading to lead to a clunk, and ECU subluxation, which uh, flexion, ulnar division, and supination will cause uh, the ECU to sublux from each position with audible clunk. Uh, we'll send patient for investigation, the form of uh, formal rest x ray and lateral view should be formed in. Uh, the shoulder should be uh, in uh, 90 degree, elbow 90 degree, and the forearm in neutral rotation to or, in order to have, uh, uh, to, to be able to obtain uh, the, 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 the variance of the patient. Oblique view can help you uh, to detect either dorsal or polar pathology. True lateral x-ray is mandatory. We know the true lateral x-ray by uh, the BC form is, is found midway between the uh, anterior border of scaphoid and anterior border of cavitate like this. This is this is a PC form. This is anterior border of scaphoid. This is anterior border of the cavitate. Uh, CT is important in case uh, you suspect uh, uh, an osseous pathology. You suspecting the cyst or minor fracture, uh, and uh, it gives you an 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 idea about uh, the condition of the DRG, any subluxation. MRI uh, is essential in case of soft tissue. Uh, pathology or AVN and diagnostic arthroscopy is now the, the investigation of choice in detection of uh, long-standing uh, undersided wrist pain. It can detect uh, uh, any intraarticular pathology or TFCC affection. We'll talk about the common causes, either um, ECU subluxation, the patient will cause, uh, will complain of audible clunk and pain with forced flexion, uh, supination, under deviation, and the treatment is uh, by a sling mobilization of the EC tendon uh, through the dorsal approach. TFCC, it's formed of three main components, the distal hammock part, the, uh, the functional collateral ligament, and the, the radio ulnar ligament, which has uh, the stabilizing uh, rule. Uh, the uh, distal hammock part is, is formed mainly from the articular disc, annual uh, uh, unit, annual tracuitra ligament, and meniscus from lobe, while the radio ulnar ligament extends from the dorsal and volar margin of the sigmoid notch into the fovea, and it has, uh, it is a stabilizing ligament uh, to prevent the radio ulnar subluxation and functional ulnar collateral ligament, which is issue as subsheath. Uh, the central part is devoid of blood supply, so it will not heal 
So deployment in, in central tear and the repair in peripheral tear like uh, knee meniscal injury. Uh, TFCC is classified according to Palmer into traumatic class one, degenerative class two, class one either A, which is central, B, which is ulnar, C, uh, which is distal injury, and D, which is radial injury. Uh, TFCC assessment, assessment cannot be done without MRI arthrography to detect the attachment of the TFCC and completed by scopic to scopic test, either trampoline to test uh, the resilience of the TFCC. It tests the trampoline test, tests the superficial part of the TFCC while uh, the hook test, if you are able to go beneath the, the TFCC and uh, take it upward towards radio, uh, radio carpal joint, so it is not attached to the deeper ulna and indicates a deeper, uh, deep, a deep TFCC tear while absence of trampoline indicates superficial TFCC tear. So the option either if the patient has only super injury to superficial part, no instability, so you can manage this patient arthroscopically by debridement or a capsular repair. If the patient has instability and uh, a hook test of a positive uh, deep tear, you should reattach the TFCC again to the, uh, uh, to the ulna. And in long standing cases, you need uh, reconstruction if the TSTC uh, remaining tissue cannot hold suture. This is example of uh, capsular arthroscopic capsular repair, uh, open reattachment by using trans suture or suture anchor and uh, TFCC reconstruction of the radio ulnar ligament uh, using a free tendon graft. Ulnar steroid fracture, you should only go for ulnar steroid fixation if it is base, large basal fragment, and you have uh, in, uh, instability after this radius fixation. We use for fixation either tension band, uh, screws, or uh, hook plate. Uh, as regard the uh, uh, ulnar abutment syndrome, an ulnar abutment patient has positive, un positive ulnar variants, uh, it could be either uh, his anatomy or due to malunited distal radius, but, but the MRI is, is, is diagnostic when the, the changes are limited only to the underside of the wrist and you have by scope central TFCC affection. You, you should go for uh, either uh, lengthening the distal radius in case of malunited distal radius or shortening of the ulna through the physial uh, osteotomy or a waiver procedure. A new triquitral injury, the, uh, the lunate uh, lo uh, loses the attachment to the triquitrum, so it flicks anteriorly due to its attachment to the scaphoid, and it, it is known by X-ray by the, the uh, uh, VZ and uh, disruption of glula lines. Uh, arthrogram is, uh, is diagnostic. MRI arthrogram is also diagnostic, and scope will lead to, uh, it may help also in uh, management. Uh, we, 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 the management could be either bending in early cases, repair by suture anchor, reconstruction, or unitricultural fusion. Uh, if we discuss the radial side of the wrist, uh, the, uh, the, the pain could be either from bone, from distal radius, leonate, scaphoid, trapezium, uh, first, carbo, first uh, metacarbal, could be from uh, the joint, uh, trapezium metacarbal joint, or soft tissue. So the, this is the most common radial side wrist pain, either due to fractures, scaphoid manunion, snack, either from the joint trapezium metacarpal osteoarthritis or soft tissue, decker van, tenosynovitis, intersection syndrome, or water bank syndrome. As regarding bone, suspect radial salute fracture in case of trauma, scaphoid fracture non-union in case of uh, trauma. Uh, sometimes it is not, it is forgotten trauma. And trapezium fracture, uh, uh, trapezium may fracture with uh, axial loading of the thumb. As regarding trapezium fracture, it could be either body fracture due to compressive force, or ridge fracture, a bulge of the ridge of, of the uh, volar ridge, which is known by CT scan and carpal tunnel view, and the treatment range from fixation by KY or screw or uh, conservative management in non-displaced fracture. Uh, as regarding scaphoid non-union, uh, the scaphoid is uh, uh, the scaphoid union, uh, ten to fifteen percent of scaphoid fracture can go can go to a non-union due, due to uh, uh, bad blood supply of the scaphoid. Uh, other factors are uh, like delay in the beginning of treatment, proximal pore fracture, displaced fracture, inadequate immobilization, and associated instability. Uh, the problem is scaphoid non-union is that the scaphoid has a flexion moment due to its oblique position. It will lead to attritional changes on the anterior part of the scaphoid, which lead to flexion of the scaphoid. And this flexion is a characteristic humpback deformity of the scaphoid. Uh, and this uh, humpback deformity will, will lead to carpal height and, uh, and the famous DZ uh, displacement of the unit. So in unstable uh, non-union, there will be angulated 
scaphoid uh, in a humpback deformity, a DZ and decreased carpal height while in a stable non-union, uh, the scaphoid maintain its height. It is very important in, in, in humpback deformity to restore the height of scaphoid by interpositional graft and fix it by rigid fixation using herpetous screws. Uh, while in a stable non-union, the, the scaphoid maintain its normal height. Uh, it's, it, occurs me, it occurs mainly in proximal scaphoid fracture and there is no DZ and maintained carpal height and, and the treatment is by uh, only, it can be by only fixation. So treatment in early, uh, in early treatment with no arthritis, it is a, a stable non-union fixation only unstable grafting, either non-vascularized or vascularized according to condition of vascularity by MRI, thus a rigid fixation using herpet screw. Non-vascularized graft uh, is a original mate or mate rus uh, cancellus or cotico cancellus. We could go for vascularized graft in case of EBN, which could be either those that vascularize the graft of Mr. Edius, or it could be volar, uh, which is popularized by Matula, volar carpal artery, and it could be from the medial femoral condyle in case of combined uh, AVN and handbag hand 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 deformity. Uh, it's a free, uh, free flap uh, operation. Uh, in the joint, the uh, trabezium with carpal osteoarthritis occurs mainly in long-standing uh, long due to attritional changes in supporting ligaments of the trabezium with carpal joint. It will lead to pain in the base of the thumb and radial side of the wrist. And uh, uh, while obtaining X-ray, according to eating classification, it will range from early, uh, no changes, uh, stage two, minor uh, osteophytes and narrowing stage three, uh, larger osteophytes than two, larger than two millimeter and stage three affected uh, also STT ligament. Uh, stress, stress view will lead to uh, appearance of subluxation and treatment will range from conservative management in the form of a splint, uh, bracing uh, injection technique, uh, while operative treatment, the treatment for choice is trapezial resection with FCR ligament uh, reconstruction of the volar ligament using an FCR tendon with interposition graft uh, in, the, uh, in the site of trapezial resection. Trapezium with carpal arthrodes is also maybe used and uh, arthroplasty. Uh, tendon pathology can lead to radial side wrist pain, uh, decker van, which is entrapment of the first compartment, uh, the abductor polishes longest extensor polishes previous, the patient will have radial side wrist pain, positive Finkelstein test, and the treatment uh, could range from uh, splinting, injection, uh, non steroidal uh, or we could go for surgery if uh, fa failed the conservative treatment. In surgery, we use two centimeter transverse incision, identify, should identify superficial radial nerve to avoid injury, and we open the, we open the, the compartment from the dorsal margin to avoid post-operative polar subluxation, intersection syndrome, uh, it is entrapment of the second uh, dorsal compartment or uh, entrapment between the bellies of the first and the second and treated in the same way like uh, Dekervan early, non early by non-operative treatment and later on by a release and the brightening. Wartenberg syndrome is compressive neuropathy of the superficial radial nerve. It is associated with uh, neurological manifestations, the form of uh, positive tenel sign and uh, hypothesia, hyperthesia, and the treated bar also uh, by uh, either non-operative management, uh, rest modification, splints, and uh, we could go for surgical decompression in case of failed conservative treatment. The final part is the central. If you have a central wrist pain, it could be volar due to carpal tunnel syndrome, volar wrist ganglion flex or tenosynovitis, could be dorsal due to uh, mainly Kambok disease, and also uh, dorsal wrist ganglion is very common, very, very common pathology to cause a central wrist pain, scaphalinate ligament injury, more distally, metacarpal, third metacarpal boss or cavitate cyst. Uh, and the cavitate uh, and the Kimbuk disease, uh, some patients will have etiological factor which lead to a uh, uh, predisposed individual in which they have uh, negative ulnar variance which lead to unsupported leonate, which uh, cannot uh, handle the compressive force over the radial side, which lead to uh, avascular necrosis. It may lead to uh, osseous collapse and pathology and later on chondral collapse. Uh, the most famous Lichman uh, classification, which in stage one, uh, there is normal X-ray, but the MRI is, is positive. In stage two, uh, sclerosis appears in X-ray, but the scaphoid maintain its, its uh, shape. In stage three, the scaphoid collapse. Stage three A, uh, there is no, uh, there is a leonate collapse, but no carpal collapse. Starting from three B, there is a carpal collapse, and three C is 
uh, coronal fracture in the lunate and stage four is arthritis. We should identify and put line between one, two, and three A because those are salvageable. We could aim in revascularization of the lunate while in stage three B and four and three C, we, we only perform salvage, uh, uh, we, uh, salvage pr pr procedure in the form of either uh, metcarbal fusion or proximal rocopectomy. This is suggested treatment by break pain in stage one, two and three A, uh, start by immobilization, go for radial shortening, joint leveling in the form of either radial shortening or capitate shortening, plus minus revascularization. Starting from three B and C, we go for salvage procedure in the form of STT, scaphocapitate uh, fusion, proximal rocorpectomy, and finally rest fusion. Uh, the last slide I want to, uh, uh, Greg Bain has found that uh, there is some dissociation between the articular pathology and the Leachman classification. So we now go for arthroscopic classification of Kimbuk joint, and he classified uh, the, the Kimbuk into four stages according to a number of uh, articular surface affected, zero, there is no articular surface affected, and you can go for synovectomy, joint leveling procedure, vascularized distal radius graft. Uh, in stage one, only one articular surface is affected, mainly the proximal lunate, so you can go for either radiocarbal, uh, radioscaphal unit fusion, or proximal rocorbectomy. In stage two, two, uh, two articular surface affected, either uh, in the radiocarbal joint alone or mid-carbal joint, could be treated by either radioscaphal unit fusion or proximal rocorpectomy and the stage three and four, more than three joint affected and detreated by wrist arthroscopy. Thanks a lot.